All right, hello everybody. Welcome to NAF kickoff round of 16 match between Andre and Cube Farmer. I will be playing the winner of this match. Uh, Andre has won the toss, chose to receive. He has Andre with humans versus Cube Farmer with Underworld. Andre's gone very standard build. We've got two guard blitzers, a guard, ogre, tackle, blitzer, mighty blow, blitzer, block, catcher. I actually, personally, I would have gone with an extra guarder rather than the mighty blow. Not a big fan of the mighty blow blitzer because I feel like you've got the ogre, right? Your ogre could just 3D blitz if you wanted an attrition blitz. Um... I think like the ogre takes care of the attrition blitz, and then the tackler takes care of the key blitz. So I don't, I don't really love the mighty blow, but I guess it does give you more mighty blow versus like you know for some matches such as this one where it gets to go mighty blow as well as the thing. So you know it's not, it's not terrible. I'm just not that big a fan. It's got the thrower there, and uh, 13 players total, three re rolls. Doesn't have the apo. Um, I guess 12 players and an apo is more normal, but. The thing is, with the uh, with overtime and with the apple being worse, there's a strong argument for 13 players rather than the apple. Like without overtime, um, having the oh, he tricked him. Look, he tricked him. He tricked him into thinking he was going to be able to blitz the rogue and then just put the snotling in to protect the rogue. Brilliant. Um, right then, the underworld. We've got the standard 16 players. We've got a dirty player, juggernaut, roger, block gutter, guard blitzer, wrestle, line rat. Um, and he has got a bribe as well. Half one, three rerolls. So, you know, it's. Uh, they get everything underworld. They pretty much get everything, but he hasn't rolled well on swarming. Only one extra. Only one extra player from swarming. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Eh? Gets the 3D, gets the PAL. And a, a removal. Because he's not gonna. He's not gonna app a. Uh, goblin, is he? Tackle on this. Protects his mighty blow with a brackets his mighty blow with guard to protect him. Hey, and we go for the attrition blitz from the ogre. But uh probably if he's gonna attrition blitz with the ogre, he probably wants to blitz a line rat or a goblin so that he can retreat afterwards. And yeah, this has set up the uh this has set up a potential rogue hit. But I guess he anticipated this, so he thought his plan was to do that. Trick him into sidestepping and generating rogue hit. What he can do is though, he can um he can bring in a player here, he can blitz him, chain the ogre in, right? This is the this is the play, hundred percent the play here for Cube Farmer. Is you put in a player here, tag this guy, assist here. This guy comes in, blitzes him, chains him into there, hit him, and then you gang foul his ogre. Easy, easy play. And yeah, sure, hands fail, pick up. Fantastic. Oh, in fact, you've got a guard, so you can literally just put the guard in, you can just plug the guard in there. Bosh. And then so the guard fills in the chain, and then uh, somebody assists. I guess it's going to have to be a Snotling cancels that. He blitzes in. Bish bosh bash. And then you've got the guard there as well for the initial hit. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. This is definitely the best player here. And then just like gang foul the uh gang foul the uh, the ogre. This reminds me of world class. Back in the 1980s. Hmm. Oh well, he 
wasn't doing that at all. He was doing something way worse than me. Kaz is his own player. Animal Savage is great, everybody, by the way. I mean, you know, I must agree. And when I say agree, I mean not agree with all of these people who say Animal Savagery is brilliant. It's literally better than the troll for one turn out of 16. And that is when you attempt to chain push your gutter runner to score the one turn touchdown. That's when he's better. He's better one turn out of 16. Blitzed into a frenzy trap. I mean, it doesn't matter because he's strength 5, but flip me. And now he's, uh, you know, it, it would have mattered in that. Oh, I guess he would have pushed him here, wouldn't he? And then got away, so it's alright. I was thinking of, like, you know, giving up the hit on the, uh, getting hit by the ogre. But, I mean, he's getting hit by the ogre anyway, right? Because he's got guards here to put in. So, this is, uh, very risque putting in the roger like that. I thought my play was about a million times better than his. Approximately. <laughs> Approximately a million times better. Oh my god, the gutter's exposed? You've got to move the gutter then. Yeah, okay. Whew. Whew. Um, oh, that's not a dicing at all. Just a completely normal game. It's only been a couple of turns. Oh, why are you explaining? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, obviously the Andrew's like all my Christmases have come at once and then just fails of course <laughs> oh my god you've got one player on your entire team well you've got two players on your entire team you've got your roger to push him and your gut runner to score and you've managed to get them both hit by uh, one with tackle and one by mighty blow so yep not a great start for the underworld Not a great start for the underworld there. In my opinion, of course. <laughs> Does the roger die? Oh, he does! <laughs> <laughs> Some might say justice. Ah, oh, the apple works. <laughs> yeah, I fancy Andrew here as well, Pogli. Yeah. Well, I mean, this means I really want Cube Farmer to win. Um. Yeah, I think I I'm definitely cheering for Cube Farmer now. <laughs> <laughs> on the basis of the one turn that he's played, <laughs> I'm definitely cheering on Cube Farmer as my preferred second round opponent. Um, yep. Yep, Andrea is very good. Yep. And now he's now he might just go for the three dice on the gutter, right? Three dice with mighty blow. Or three dice with tackle. I'm not sure which is better. Because, like, obviously you, you want to remove the gutter, right? You don't just want to knock it over. You want to remove it. So, interestingly, it, it might be worth it. I mean, you've got to three dice it, though. And there you go. The guard comes in. Instantly. Yeah, Andre's very good. But, like, obviously Underworld are better than humans, right? Though maybe not in this match, like maybe not matchup wise, it's maybe he's not that great for Underworld. But um, in terms of what I didn't like by Andrew here was not moving this guy in first. I don't know if he can still reach. Oh, and he's not the guard. The ogre's the guard. So now he still can't reach. So that was really, that was actually quite poor from Andrew. Denied himself the third, third dice. Right, he should have he should have moved him in first. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Right, he should have moved him in first before he blocked there. So he, he only he only gave himself, or he should have not followed. Oh no, but then he's got guard. So yeah, he should have moved this guy around first. So he got three D. Like you've got a three D. You've got a three D. The uh, the gutter runner. No stars. I I don't know if stars were allowed or not. To be honest, uh, with the rule set. I don't even know if the rule set allowed them. 
Maybe it wasn't allowed to allow them due to NAF sanctioning rules because they don't have their special abilities. <laughs> so there you go. That's that's interesting, isn't it? And obviously he's only lost some snotlings. It's no big whoop. He's going to get the one turn chance. All he has to do is not get his uh, gut runner three diced every turn. He hasn't done such a good job of that yet, but um, <laughs> you know maybe he can start. Maybe he can start protecting his gutter runner. It's an idea. Like this drive's pretty much over, right? Four players are off, including the roger. So the drive is pretty much uh, 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 over at this point. Say it's over. But what he can do is, uh, you know, maybe get a big foul in with his DP bribe and uh, maybe protect his gutter runner from getting smashed by tackle every single turn. This is naff, yeah, yeah. This is naff. Keat can be happy that this is naff, so it is. <laughs> So with Nath, Fluffy Burrito, with in Nath style, the Rogue is way better because you can give him Juggernaut, like he has, and it, that increases your chance of the one turn, like, I'm not going to say exponentially, but by a lot. People say exponentially for effect, don't they? But um, Juggernaut, Frenzy, Strength 5, that always activates is an amazing thing for the one turn. So, that is the big thing. However, in a in a non-NAF situation, the troll is better. The troll is better 15 turns out of 16. 15 turns out of 16, the troll is better, and the troll is better TV-wise. But, um, you know, in NAF style, that one turn is uh, is the thing that uh, that gets you. It always gets you. That's a great meme. Ke Keaton is is this naff. The good thing is now I've got it. I've got it layered perfectly here. Look. So I can put it there. <laughs> and then he goes, is this naff? And it is. <laughs> it actually is naff. Removing everyone here. Yeah, Rogue is amazing for one turns. Like it's it's glorious, right? Juggernaut, Frenzy, always activates. It's so good. But the troll, like in a in a non naff situation where like the players get injured and stuff, having the uh, troll to take hits and stuff increases the survivability of your team and stuff a lot, doesn't he? Increases your survivability of your team a lot. Having an armor nine regen player. Ah. Well, if he was as good at protecting gut runners as he was at organizing tournaments. <laughs> just joking, just a bit of entertainment. Nobody needs to get their panties in a bunch. But, um. Not the best start. He hasn't had the best start here. But there's still a lot of game left, isn't it? He? He's just got to get his one turn here. If he gets his one turn, it's uh, his favourite to win, isn't he? In fact, I mean, his apples had amazing value. Got amazing value from his apple. Three cars now is uh, starting to get pretty substantial. 
pretty substantial. Of course, two KO rolls. And then 13 players for the second half. But, you know, he's got a good chance of losing another one. It's not looking great, but... Yep, great, great toss win for Andre, wasn't it? Just ran through the team. Beat the crap out of them. Good dice rolls from Andre, but also, you know, um, Cube Farmer gave away too many hits, basically. He's lucky to still have his gutter runner. <laughs> Commit everyone, hit the ogre and foul him. You could do here. Because so, you've got your bribe. You've got your bribe. I don't hate committing everyone to the rogue, the rogue blitz and foul, the, the ogre blitz and foul, right? No, he's not doing it. Pussy. <laughs> Sausage! <laughs> uh, yeah, he could have, he could have, right? He could have put in three assists. Blitzed him, and then uh, four assist gang fouled. I think that was probably the play. Like removing this guy does literally nothing. He's a human lineman. He's got two reserves. Okay, one reserve was once cast, but like this is just doing nothing and exposing your gutter runner to getting blitzed. No, do not like this. I think blitzing the ogre was the play there. Gets you further away from the rest of his team. So it protects your players better. And, you know, gets gets off his biggest man. <laughs> Which is something you always want to try and do. Hello, Goliath. It does, yeah. There's no getting around from that. There's no getting away from that. Yep, three, three dice. He's getting three dice. It, um, it might be better to three D with Mighty Blow, honestly. It's interesting. I don't. I, I think the math. I think the maths. Somebody can do it. Somebody. Somebody do the maths for me. It's an instruction. <laughs> I could probably do it because, like, obviously, you're more likely to knock him down with with the uh, with the tackler. But uh, look, he rolled a power, right? He rolled a power, so. And you, you've got re-rolls to put in. You've got a re-roll to put in there, so... The math for blitzing on 3D with tackle, or blitzing on 3D with mighty blow. And I guess your chance of casting him, because that's what you want to do, isn't it? Like, KO is okay, but you really want to cas him. And, like, the mighty blow doubles your chance of a cas, doesn't it? Almost. And then your tackle doubles the chance of a knockdown. So I reckon Mighty Blow will be better than uh, than Tackle. That's what I think. That's my instinct. Killer Instinct. Remember that video game? Doesn't even dodge his snotling to get a 2D. Outrageous. Kills him. Second death of the match. Well, now fouling the lineman isn't bad, is it? Because now, now, uh, and that's the tackle. So there you go. That's uh, great justice. Great justice for Andre there. Um, Cube Farmer gives away three dice blitz on his gutter runner, and the result of that three dice blitz is the blitzer getting killed on a one d. <laughs> that's Blood Bowl, isn't it? That is Blood Bowl. In a nutshell. Flip me. Another three dice on the gutter now. This time with Mighty Blow. Will this result in the Mighty Blower getting killed? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> There's a poor hit here. Poor hit by Andre. Because if he doesn't power, he could have sidestepped there to uh, stop him getting the guards in, right? One, one guard here. Other guard goes to here. And he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI to hit. Oh, this is incorrect. 
<laughs> incorrect. I guess it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I guess it's okay. Got nothing to it. But he would have powered the gut. He would have powered the gut just quietly. He would have powered the gutter. Done nothing to him, obviously. <laughs> I think the player was definitely to go after the gutter. I'm, I'm going after the gutter all day there. Like I get, I get it being scary for him, right? Because he's down to eleven max, and the bribe is still in play for Cube Farmer, and his drive is coming up, and it, it could, it could end badly for Andre. Still, it can still go very wrong for Andre. But um, I think if you if you stop the one turner, then it's all right. Oh, thank you very much, Agrelius. Look at that. Oh, clever Jim. Clever Jim. And that's substantially more, isn't it? Like, you know, obviously 8% versus 8 versus 6.33% isn't a lot in terms of 1.66% difference. But as a percentage, that's like about a third, isn't it? That's, that's a lot more. Nah. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, it is harder to do, isn't it, with a mighty blow? I, well, I guess you could do you can do the um, you can find out the mighty blow like someone made a table, right? So as long if that tables, you can find the table for for the mighty blow, and then do that after the knockdown. But uh, <laughs> if you wanted to, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not. Uh, you know, it's great that you did that. I'm not asking you to do that. I'm not asking you to do that. <laughs> Um, yeah, eight percent is a decent guess. All right, tanks. So yeah, that's, a, that's a quite a bit more, isn't it? That's quite a bit more. I'm glad I was right. So that's something to know, isn't it? In future, really, if you if you're ever playing, you know, natties and stuff, if you've got the choice of a three D with tackle or a three D with mighty blow, then you take the mighty blow one. Super interesting. fella here. Not sure about that. I guess it got the three here. Right, so one nil up. Can Cube Farmer get the one turn? He's got twelve players. And obviously twelve players is guaranteed to be able you guaranteed to be able to field twelve players as uh, as Underworld. So we'll have twelve or thirteen for the second half, probably. And the uh, humans are capped at 11. <laughs> yes, he could agree. Yes, he could. <laughs> Hello, Fimey. Do you want to come on to comms? Ah, oh, diced. Diced. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, everybody missing out on Prime Fime here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, this this should be pretty easy, right? One turns are pretty easy for Underworld. I guess the thing is, is um, the interface, if Cube Farmer is a table topper, I, if, if, which, which is what, uh, which is what Agrelis is saying, tournament organizer, if he's a table topping kind of person, then you know, grappling with the interface, only got two minutes for the setup. Doesn't go into your time bank. The setup does not go into your time bank. So, he's he's not going fast enough here. I don't think he's thought enough about this. This doesn't look as smooth and as easy as it should have done, if you ask me. I think he's pretty much bamboozled at this point. This is not looking good for Cube Farmer. Not looking good for Cube Farmer at all. Yeah, that looks a bit better. <laughs> but, um, 
Okay, okay, yeah, I think he's recovered it. He's probably recovered it. He doesn't want a goblin here though, right? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> he, just, he just moved up there. Okay. Well, that might have made it harder. So now what does he do? He pushes this twice, and then he's got to dodge a snotling into fill there, and a, put a player in here. But this get this works out better, right? If he can fit, if he can make the snotling dodges, this works out better because it gets him out to here. It doesn't get him out further than that, but it does get him out to here. Yeah, it's doable, but uh, it's not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good or bad? He also hasn't got anybody for the rogue to hit. I guess he, he can eat this one, can't he? Because then that's... He's got the assist there, yeah, so he can eat this one. It is the horrid you are, yes. This was always the danger. This is always the danger. Oh. Is this correct? Uh. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can say definitively no, this is not correct. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might be right, the foul might work, but this was not the correct way to score the one turn. He could have still scored this one turn. He could have still absolutely scored that one turn. That was, uh, you know, even even after the positioning, it was still it was still possible. But yeah, the UI defeated by the UI. Yeah, exactly, Pogba. Totally understandable. Yeah. Yeah, that was that. That was it. Probably tilted by the UI, yeah. Yeah, at least he didn't push himself back. Oh my god, that was the funniest thing ever. That was the funniest thing ever in Era BB. <laughs> when I got further forward than he did. <laughs> that was the best one. There was something in Chalice, wasn't there? Kill Bill. Kill Bill did it in Chalice where he, where he pushed his guy back. But then Era BB was beaten by that because uh, I sidestep into my opponent heart. But honestly, uh, you probably didn't see that, Razzle. You probably you were probably referring to the Kill Bill one. But in Era BB, my opponent, uh, my opponent, like not only didn't get his guy forward, he hit one of my sidesteppers. So I I sidestepped into his half just so I could say I got closer than you did. <laughs> <laughs> I did crack myself up with that. So only 12 for the underworld here. Uh, they failed They failed the KO roll there. They've got three Kaz, one KO, so only 12 players. And 11 for the humans. I mean, it's still very winnable, right? Very winnable for Cube Farmer here. He's got Mighty Blow. He's got... Uh, He's got a dirty player and a bribe. But the perfect, well, solid defense might help him. <laughs> so, right. It's not an omni shambles. It's, it's quite simple. Kale on. Maybe not the best explainer of things in the world. It's very, very simple. It is actually very simple, okay? Um, the top two of this 64-man tournament get a spot in the play-ins. The play-ins, so there's two, the two top teams of ladder qualify for the finals, right? And then 54 other teams from ladder qualify to the play-ins. The two finalists from this also qualify to the play-ins. And then those 56 teams have a knockout, little knockout, two rounds of knockout to get them down to 14 teams. And then those 14 are added to the two from the top of ladder. And there is your 16-man tournament for the $5,000 cash prize. Easy. 
really easy. So if you win five games in this, then you get to win two more games in the play-ins. And then if you win four more games in the main event, you get the prize, the first prize. Instantly a rude player. I mean, Animal Savagery is good, guys. Animal Savagery is a really great skill, honestly. Just, just trust me, bro. I love that people think it's a good skill. Most reliable big guy, guys. Oh, gets a kill. Um, no spoke bearer. The the the, the play both the play ins and the finals will be NAF style res. <laughs> uh, is it dollars? I can't remember the announcement. The announcement specified which one it was, didn't it? Ooh, doesn't get the pow. Pow there would have been huge, right? They would have set up the two D on the two D and the foul on the uh on the mighty blower. You can't really one D the mighty blower. Warp stones. Yes, any race, any race. Yeah, the the race you qualified with has no impact on the race you can choose for the qualifiers and the finals. It does look a bit shaky. I wonder if he's going to do the one day. Like it's huge payoff, right? And you can't use the mighty blow defensively. So actually, the one day here was maybe the play. Is that actually maybe the one day was the play from that snotling on a five plus? You get to a uh, double GFI foul there, the mighty blow. <laughs> But now he's gonna like. No, he's not gonna three dice the snotling, is because there's a guard there. So not too bad. No, there has been further details. There was on the 20th or something, um, Johan said there will be uh, the, the, like, the play ins and the finals will be NAF style res. It is very funny that all that other team's development doesn't matter, yeah. Yep. And hello, Muppet. I missed it too. I, I responded to Jay Leaf saying, nope, nothing. And then somebody posted um, what Johan had put. So I was like, all right, fair enough then. Fair enough. I stand corrected. There's a pal. The actual ladder teams mean absolutely nothing. Correct. They all have to make new teams, yes. It's great for everyone in the NAF style tournament. I mean, imagine just coming in with a NAF team fighting 2000 TV Nurgle. So, like, once they announced there was a NAF qualifier, you know, it was that's how, the way it always had to be, wasn't it? No, this is this is NAF style. To be with. This match is NAF style, and the playoffs are NAF style. Res, yeah, res, that's the word. But also NAF style. <laughs> Not just res. Also NAF style res. You can't win with a 3k Nurgle team. It's capped at 2k Muppet. For some reason, they felt that the, the ladder had to be capped at 2k. Um, you know, probably because Dave or Page didn't want to play higher than that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. It was Gautier's decision alone, and he just made a very informed decision entirely based on the data, and he will explain it any time, any, any day now. Definitely. Definitely. Any, any day of now. Yep. The obvious play was to blitz this guy, wasn't it? Blitz this guy and gang foul him. But I guess he's trying to save the uh, save the rover a bit. Oh, I don't like that. Do I not like that? He's a guy you want to foul with. You've got a fucking bribe. You've got a you know you you're up shit creek. Well, not you're up shit creek, but your your back's against the wall, right? So get fouling. Get your fouling boots on. The random change happened um, because Gautier came up with this decision all on his own, based entirely off the data, and he's definitely going to explain to us all why. Definitely. Definitely. Any day now. He said as soon as possible two weeks ago. 
So, you know, it's definitely going to happen soon, guys. He's definitely, definitely going to explain his reasoning soon. 100%. <laughs> Ball is sackable, but I mean he's got a goblin and a snotling, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, I think there's a lot of them about Muppet, to be fair. Yeah. Oh no, don't be mean, Elton, don't be mean. Don't be mean. You can smell a ball sack as well. I smell a ball sack. I love the smell of ball sacks in the morning. <laughs> that smell. That sweaty smell. <laughs> it reminds me of victory. <laughs> there you go, another Kaz. <laughs> and it looks like we're going to do an ogre, an ogre on Roger Blitz by the looks of it. Flip the ball sack. We don't need no ball sacks. Surely, right? Surely the 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 Blitz is going to hit that guy. He might hit the Snotling first, but then obviously the danger is the Snotling. Nah, the Snotling's not going to go into more hits. So hit the Snotling and then three D with the ogre maybe. Because this is what you don't want, right? You don't want the both down on your mighty blow guy. Exactly what he got. <laughs> so I preferred doing this three dicer. And then if it worked, do the 3D from the ogre and then leave your leave your blitzer to hit the rogue. And then obviously you've got a 75% instead of a 55%. -er. So I like my way of doing it. Slightly better than Andre's. Does blitz with block and gets the knockdown because of block, but this could have been mighty blow, right? This is the thing. Could have been mighty blow. Wouldn't have made any difference. Yeah, no, I, I didn't like going to the ball sack either. I, I like I like this. I mean, that's slightly different, right? I would have tried to uh, I would have tried to get the hit on the roll with mighty blow. As long as you keep him in front of you and you have something to react to the to the. Uh, Gutter. Now I can stand on your mighty blog, I can't. Just annoying. It's the pow. The plim plum pow. Gets the tag on the DP, so the underworld are very much under the cosh now. And they're not getting to use their bribe, are they? Well, they could. Oh, well, he's just, okay, he's just failed. Okay, instantly just failed. Well, now we might see a ball sack. Now we might see a ball sack. Yep. Yep. This is the catcher here, yeah. So the catcher can come in. I mean, obviously the catcher wants to pick it up as well, but I think bring in the catcher for the 3D. This catcher might be able to run through and get it at the end. So just get this. Uh, is this the thrower? One, two, three, four, five, six. So may maybe the thrower... No, I think... Oh, you could blitz from here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then push him up to here. So yeah. So actually, you can just assist with a thrower. Assist with a throw or all a catcher, doesn't matter. One of these two can assist. Ah, but the problem is you've got to do this. You've got to do this hit first. And if you get the pow, then you can bring them into here and push him up. But if you get if you get the push, then you bring in the catcher as the assist. So this I think my way of doing this hit first is a little bit better, right? Okay, he's pushing the wrong way. Well, I'm bamboozled. 
I'm just 100% bamboozled. He's going to cheer fight a hit. Yeah, I guess if you could do it that way, then you could have, uh, you could have then just blitzed with the catcher, right? Oh my god. Gets the power. Doesn't get the AV break, though. Super interesting. Splats the snot, and then he gets to put the ogre around, maybe. Got to GFI with the ogre. Could be a sexy GFI, couldn't it? Three, four, five, and then GFI to there. Got to do it. I guess you can try and move the catcher first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. Catcher can just try and recover here, can't he? Yeah, try and try and pick it up with a catcher. I think you've got to pick it up. I really do like picking it up. Maybe you don't have to pick it up, but I think you probably do. Like. Rats are just scumbags, aren't they? Four plus is too easy. Yeah, yeah that's, that's that's my problem. That's the problem that I have with this play. It's just too easy to roll a four plus. And you know, you could even uh, you could even go for like a one D here, right, to chain him and then get a scatter out somewhere better or something. Oh, well, this is the catcher, so you could like, um, you could dodge and two deep blitz him, or, or you know, something, I don't know, something, something. Yeah, the scout is good because then it gives you a two plus dodge out, doesn't it? Because like you don't want to, you don't want to have to four plus dodge as well as four plus pick up. So if you, wherever you scatter, it's probably. I think it's 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 not terrible for you now for the gutter runner, but I think it's bad enough that the scat is probably probably a good thing. You your rogue can blitz this guy to get him free. He does blitz the ball. Oh, he gets the ultimate scatter! He gets the ultimate scatter! But as I say, I prefer doing it my way, because although it would only be a 1D, which is the same as his dodge, you would have had this, this guy could have been freed by a Roger Blitz. Which would have been very good. Just quietly. Roger Blitz, very good. Yep, very, very starchy. A very starchy player here. Ah. Animal savagery, great skill. I think I prefer this. Let's draw the skull. And he was he was block as well, wasn't he? Diced. Maybe he had to stay there and and you know just be in the way a little bit, like guard doing something. Right. This probably made it too easy for him to get the three D. Like with a guard, if he has guard here, 
it's a bit harder to just hit this guy he's only got one assist and he's got one assist so it's harder to hit this guy to get 3D on the ball so probably was better off not activating and it's obviously easy to say that after the uh, after the um, skull I guess you know the other way of looking at it is it's only on a skull and not on a on a two plus it's better and you know he gets in a better spot so it probably is correct to do it actually as much as it sucks failing I guess the odds are in your favour so you've got to do it because you, know, you need to get lucky at this point as the underworld but here we go another 3D on the ball and if he fails this time he's in a lot of trouble <laughs> He gets it. Hmm. Can free the ogre or, or alignment here, can't he, potentially? Stunning the uh, gut with Gregs means he doesn't have to pick up the ball this turn. I still think you've got to try, right? Because he's got guards, so you can 3D with the ogre. 3D with the ogre here and then uh, then go for the pickup. Gets the pow. Covered in jam, the ogre. Love to see it. And he's got the ball. And that is probably GG, isn't it? Probably. Probably GG for Andre. Unfortunately, we don't have we don't have EAB to um, CC. What's it versus Andre Jim? I don't think I've played him much, to be honest. I know he's a good player. I might have lost to him in the uh, Blitz Pit teams final. I don't know if I played him. Like I played two of the three, didn't I? I, don't know if I played him. Anymore. Oh, one, three, two. There you go. Losing record versus Andre, as of a year ago. Mostly draws. One loss was 300 TV down. <laughs> so pretty close. I mean, they're good. They're good on fumble as well. The stats don't lie, they won a major, they just, Elliot won a major with them. On Fumble. The uh, Steel Gauntlet. 15 game team. And then plus playoffs. But yeah, Low TV is obviously their, uh, Low TV is their, uh, is their niche of course, yeah. But they don't have to go to 1500 TV, do they? They just don't have to go to 1500 TV. Why would they ever get to a point where people have mighty blow tackle to absolutely shit on them? <laughs> I 
Yeah, they're, they're super in line. Like, they've got a million players. They've got cheap bribes. They've got great stars. You know, they can just do whatever whatever you want. Whatever the package is, that they've got some. You know, they've got a good team they can make for tabletop. But yeah, mostly, you know, it's tabletop orientated with how good they are for sure. Especially as they were put into like tier two and tier three. Tier three at first. Poor some poor some poor foolish TOs <laughs> thought Underworld was still tier three. Some people thought Underworld had got nerfed by giving them a gutter runner. <laughs> if you can believe that <laughs> Some people thought giving a team a gutter runner was a nerf. <laughs> Boy, howdy. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Amazons will never win chalice. Yeah, that's a that's a fair assessment. Yeah, well, there's only one claw pommer now, not two. That was the argument. And it's not even it's not even a gutter runner either, it's a super gutter runner, isn't it? It's a fucking super gutter runner. It's the king of the gutter runners. <laughs> yeah, snots to fill in gaps. A roger with uh, that is a hundred percent reliable for the blitz on the one turn. So jug, strength five frenzy jugs. Two plus stunty dodgers to fill gaps. It's absolutely the best one turn in the game, isn't it? Clash at Kingston, four nil, four nil, three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two heads. Not gonna lie, I'm a little, I'm a little bit disappointed. I, uh, <laughs> I would have much rather be facing Cube Farm with Underworld than Andrew with humans, but you know. I think I'm probably a marginal favourite versus Andre. Marginal. Depends how the dice shake out, doesn't it? Dwarves. But I've only got three guard. So you've got equal guard and he's got more strength. And he's got more speed. <laughs> and he's got more mighty blow. <laughs> I know there's a few more. This is there. Uh, this is the fifth game of the round. There's three more after this. There's another one tonight in a few hours. Hour and a half is the is the next match. Yeah, dwarf. Dwar it's dwar humans aren't the easiest game for dwarves. They really aren't. I would rather be facing Underworld. And I'd rather be facing Cube Farmer. Again, no offense to Cube Farmer. Just Andre's better at Blood Bowl, at least on based on this match. At least based on this match that we've seen, Andre is better at a little kid's game than Cube Farmer is. Sorry if that causes anybody any offence. <laughs> In my opinion, based upon this one game that I've witnessed. Andre is better a little kid's game than Cube Farmer is. Oh yeah, it was calcium. Yeah, it was calcium. I think it was four turns to Boomer. Oh, maybe he got it on the fourth turn. Yeah, maybe he got it on the fourth turn. I think he might. I think he might have failed four times. Honestly. I think he might have failed four times. Yeah, 
Yeah, Q Vama should just be ending turn now, right? He can't he can't actually get the result, so he should just end turn and Andrew should just end turn as well. Because it's over. That's what like that's what they should do, is you know. Not playing the morality police, like, you know, they're in the they're in the tournament, they might want to get their money's worth. Clicking buttons. It's fun to click buttons, isn't it? But, um, you know, if you just click and turn there, it ends faster and the game's over. <laughs> but they got to click a bit more, they got to, they got to click a bit more, a few more buttons. And uh, the joy of using the little three UI shouldn't be interesting. It's, there you go. Um, yeah, what can you say? What can you say? It was pretty, uh, pretty easy win for Andre. Uh, I think he played a lot better than Cube Farmer. And, uh... You know, maybe had the better dice as well, but, you know, the rogue was exposed and got killed instantly. And uh, and although the app all worked, it was, just, it was just a bit of a massacre, wasn't it? So there you go. Congratulations to Andre, who I shall now face in the uh, quarterfinal. Commiserations to Cube Farmer. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.